Yeah, so member work work is going on fine, and uh, yeah, people do look forward for a lot of missionary care. And the way things are going on, not only in our country but across the world, people are very stressed out with day to day living, anxieties, um, lot of marital issues, and um, societal cases. So just work with these missionaries uh, it's been very very stressful listening to the stories helping them guiding them um, helping them with the grief and then traumas they go through um, and the latest uh, missionaries are really suffering with this whole issue of transgender so you have to work with those issues with them with the parents and with the children who are going through this so it's been a quite a hectic this uh, member care missionary care work because it's not only the missionary parents or leaders but you know you have to look into the children issues also so it's going on like that working and um, recently a um, lot of young people the missionary kids we they have got in touch and they want to discuss a lot of things and they want to get help in these areas uh, where do they stand in their faith so we have formed a group called adult mks adult missionary kids it's like above 20 years and they can be like 40 or 50 and it's amazing that the things they go through in their lives even after when they are so adult they are married they are in their jobs they go through issues and they don't know how to um, handle it so we created this group uh, on whatsapp where they can just come up with their issues and we can talk and dialogue and then we realize that it's not only one uh, mk's problem it's like all the mk's are going through that issue and then they are in the same boat so when they hear each other they feel a little encouraged okay i'm not alone in this i have other mk's also so i can talk it so it's a kind of a very open uh, group just for the mk's only and we had few caregivers in it and um, last month uh, they discussed issue on identity what is my identity um what is my sense of belonging and these are the questions not the teenagers asking but these are the adult mks are asking who are 40 years old and 5 50 years old and um, then they have a third culture kids also in it so we had a great time of discussion that one and then this september on 23rd we are going to discuss more on identity and sense of belonging and one of the mk um emk will be sharing about this issue and then afterwards we'll have more discussion on it so we thought it will be nice just the instead of calling people from outside and sharing it uh, let the adult mk's share that particular topic and then they all discuss together and then we move forward from there and the next to next month in october probably we'll be discussing on um, anxiety and stress because that's what a lot of amks are going through not only in their jobs but like family matters and the kids they go through so so that's what they want to discuss and see what how we can uh, deal with these issues so pray for that because last month we had 25 locked in and it's not only india but it's like southeast asia and then we have amks uh, not only asians but uh, from the western world and eastern and africa because uh, they have been their parents have been a missionaries in in southeast asia so then these kids were born there and then they became amk or tck they became so they heard it so they joined in so and the time zone was a bit <laughs> not very great but still they were up and because they wanted to talk these issues so pray for me for these issues and then yeah so deal with this and then see that how we as a caregivers 
can come alongside these adult MKs. You know, sometimes we think that only the little MKs are having issues, but you know, MKs even when they become adult, even if they are working in the missions or they are working in the corporate world, or they are married with children, or they are divorced. um or separated or even living with the partners you know it's becoming a trend now mm-hmm. that uh, many people don't get married and they just live together and many mks are doing that and for me i really don't want to judge them because the peer pressure is so high around the world and the best thing we could do that just come alongside and listen to them what they have to say why they are uh slowly moving away from their faith why they are embracing other faith other religions like uh, islam or hinduism or sikhism or uh, zoroastrians why they are becoming like that why they are not satisfied in their christian faith what's the reason that they're leaving so we have lot of amks like that living with the partners moving away becoming suicidal um and they feel that the churches are not helping them they tend to sweep everything under the carpet missions don't help them they sweep everything under the carpet so where do we go with our issues mm-hmm. whom do we talk to so it's wonderful to have this kind of a platform where they can just come and open up without being judged and then we talk to them so pray for the next one which is in september 23rd where we will be talking issues and discussing this and then um i have like lot of deadlines like next month i'm going to thailand to speak in a um, global mobilization conference it's a network of wea mission commission where i and rajendran worked with before rajendran was cha- chairman for it and i worked with the member care So they have asked me to come and do three plenary sessions on member care. So one is spiritual renewal and two are emotional healing. So pray for that um so I could just sit and prepare my those sessions with them and then um I'm also turning my uh PhD dissertation into a book so that's a uh, one project i'm uh, half way through in that one then um um i have to write for global member care they're doing a part 2 of doing member care well so they have asked me to write and do the editorial work for that so it's like things are becoming too much on my plate <laughs> so pray for it yeah so that lord may give me strength and grace um to go on and continue to feel satisfied or content in what i do i don't want to get a bigger plate and just keep dumping things on it yeah. like one of my friends said i uh, when i told him that i don't think i can take any more my plate is full so he said to me take a get a bigger plate I said no I'm not going to get the bigger yeah. plate whatever I have let me just finish it and once that is finished yeah. then I'm going to put on it you know the plate's a little too heavy right now yeah 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 I know right now so much on me and I have it you know just writing and doing this and preparing sessions and dealing with AMKs dealing with missionary parents and mission, you know mission leaders and counseling and you know it gets sometimes and one thing i realized in my studies when i was doing my counseling that very clearly we were told that listen to the issues but make sure you do not carry their monkey on your shoulder <laughs> 